<laughs> well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. Wow. This is where yeah, every... Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to tickle you. This is where every weekday morning you and I, we get together, we have a little bit of coffee or... What are you having this morning? You're having milk this morning, coffee, milk or water or tea. I don't know what you got, but uh, where we have something to drink, we get into God's word and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2023, Lord willing, we'll make it from Genesis through, you know what the third book of the Bible is? Um, Leviticus. Leviticus. Give me fives. Good job. Can you do that? Go ahead. I'll see if you... Ouch. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and have something to drink. We'll pray and we'll get into God's word. Here's your milk. Have my coffee. Boy, how much milk are you going to drink? Are you going to drink all the milk? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day, and we thank you for your word. Lord, we pray that we would bring you glory as we read your word and that your Holy Spirit would work in our hearts to understand it. In Jesus' name, amen. What are we looking? You were looking at that while I was praying? Maybe you can shut your eyes and pray next time so you don't get distracted. Would that be good? Why is that fun, Wilson? Why is that what? I can see my... Oh, yeah, you can see yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Okay, ready? So we're here. Do you know that word? Nope. Yeah, you do. It's a sight word. Can you tell me? Eh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And... You know that one? The? And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. The? Nope. And say to them, the? Feast of the? Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations. These are my feasts. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it says the, but it says these because there's an S and an E at the end of it. So it's these. These are my feasts. So guess what this chapter is going to be all about? What? The feasts. Ew. No, not you. It's I, good. Fe I, Do you know what a feast is? I don't like eating, but I don't like eating rabbits that are having bread. Well, we're not talking about eating rabbits. Right, but these are a different feasts. You know what feast we just had recently? Food. Food. Thanksgiving. Did you like Thanksgiving? Uh, had all. Happy on my birthday. Yeah, on your birthday, and were there all sorts of yummy foods? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's. And did you have to work those days? Nope. Nope. That's what. Uh, that's what these are going to be. They're going to be different times when the Israelites they didn't have to work. But instead, they got to eat and rejoice and rest and spend time with God and spend time with their families. What, what if they, they didn't into war? And then when they be Thanksgiving, they could stop, but they didn't do war. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of, it's kind of like their Thanksgivings. They would stop and not do any work. Instead, they would feast and they would rejoice in God for different things he had done. Why do you have big hairs? I have big hairs on my arm because I'm a man. I'm gonna cut them. No, you're not gonna cut my arm hairs. Okay. Well, I can guess what? My hand, Dad. Yeah. Hey, guess what? That's all there is. It's just the two verses this morning. It's just the feasts. What is so, it in oh, your mouth? Oh, don't do that. Nothing's in my mouth. So look at me. Look at Ooh, me. Oh, how did they get up, Dad? Ellie, look at me now. I need you to be serious, okay? What is a feast? Food? Yeah, when you get to stop and rest and eat food. Ooh, Ooh yeah, we're going to talk about the different what did, feasts. What is that? You know what those are. Those are feasts. You're being silly. You're in a silly mood this morning. So, God, isn't that neat that there are times in which God told his people, you're going to not work and you're going to eat good food and you're going to rejoice in things God has done. What is that? Well, those were the feasts, and we're going to talk about the different feasts that they would se that they were supposed to celebrate. Hey, I'm saying that, that God gave me a toys and a house and things. You're thankful that the Lord gave you toys and house and things. Well, yeah. good. You know, 
you know what they they were to, supposed to rejoice in? Right. They were going to rejoice in God creating the world. And then they were going to rejoice in all the good things God did for them and good things God gave them. Well, I don't like Satan. Well, you shouldn't like Satan. All right, you ready to pray? What is Satan? Satan is a fallen angel. What is that? Yeah, he's an angel who was filled with pride and he wanted to take over God's kingdom. So he was cast down and now he still tries to tempt people in their hearts and minds. To be filled with pride, but, not trust God, and do what they want to do. But Mr. Turner told me that Adam and Eve sinned because he beat a snake. That's right. He was a serpent, and he tricked Eve, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, he tempted her. He told her, did God really say that? But did God still rescue us? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, let's go ahead and pray. You ready? Lord, we thank you so much that you are a God who I, redeems us. Oh, we're praying. I can't see that because it's blocking my way. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and pray. We thank you that you are a God who has redeemed us. We thank you that you have given us times in our lives to stop and to remember who you are, what you have done for us, and what you have given us. Ah. Lord, we thank you most of all for Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Well, I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I have a silly six-year-old who uh, obviously this is not what she wants to do this morning. That's okay. Ellie, do you want to say goodbye? No, can you say it nicely? <laughs> well, goodbye. I hope that you rest in Jesus Christ. You rejoice in who he is and what he has done for you. I'll see you next time. Maybe I could like this. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural Southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.